Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud Anya Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Viknesh and in this particular video, we are going to see how to create virtual machine using PowerShell. So in my previous video, I have explained you how to create Azure virtual machine Windows instant using console. The same thing we are going to see how to create it, create it using Azure PowerShell using commands, PowerShell commands and uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So I have broken down this video into three parts. First one is we are going to create a virtual machine. So what is the command for it? And then we are going to obtain the public IP address of that virtual machine. And we are going to see how to connect to that virtual machine. That connection part is very similar to what I have explained you in the other video. I'll give you the link of that particular video in the description box as well. And finally, we will see how to delete that virtual machine using, uh, using PowerShell itself. So this is the objective and we will now do the hands-on. So to do it, I log into my Power uh, Azure portal. This is my Azure portal. To activate the virtual shell, just click on this, uh, in, just click on this uh, cloud shell. So you can just activate this cloud shell. And by default, you will be able, you will be able to see you are in PowerShell. If you wanted to move to Bash, Bash is something which where we will be using our Linux based commands. But we are going to see uh, PowerShell itself. So you can stay here, this PowerShell, but you wanted to move to Bash, vice versa, you can just click on it. It will take like around 30, 40 seconds to switch from PowerShell to Bash and vice versa as well. So the first thing is we will be seeing, uh, identify the existing resource. So in order to create a virtual machine, we need a resource group to identify which resource group we wanted to use. So you can copy this command, get get az resource group copy this command and paste it here and you will get all the resource groups available inside this particular subscription so here you can see these are the different resource group so i'll be using this resource group so here you can see uh, dbc resource group what is the location what is the provisioning state tax and any resource id so i'll be using this resource group name copy this resource group and paste it in your next command so what we are going to do so resource group is the existing one the one which i copied this is the one which i copied so sorry dbc resource is my existing resource group name and i'm going to use the same i'm going to use the same thing so what is our name you can i didn't give any name it should not exist more than 15 characters and there should not be any special characters like this uh, any special characters uh, like the i like this i fan or uh, this one so there should be no any special characters and make sure of it and what is the virtual network we are going to create the virtual network on our own what is the security group what is the subnet what is the public ip address and what is the open port so all those things we are going to configure on our own so this is the command so new az vm what is the resource group name what is the name of the virtual machine what is the virtual network name? What is the subnet name? What is the security group name? Public IP address and what is the ports? So basically we are giving two ports. One is for TCP 80 and UDP 3389. Then you can copy this command and you can go to this Azure PowerShell. You can do this clear, paste the command, whatever you copy, paste it and just hit enter. And you can give the Azure username. So my Azure username is Azure user just azure user and the password is azure123 at the rate so it will take some time to create rest everything will be default values so the user name is so user name is azure user and password is azure123 at the rate so here it will take around uh, two to three minutes to create the uh, Azure Virtual Machine. To track this progress, you can right click on this, open a new tab, I'll close this, and you can authorize your account, which is the account you are going to clear, you are using it. So just click on this Virtual Machine. And here you can get all the uh, instances which is created, which is uh, stopped, in the, which is stopped, which is stopped, which is created, which is going to create, all those things you will be able to see it. We have to just refresh here. It will take some time. Here you can see Azure VM01. What is the virtual machine? Subscription, resource group, location. What is the status? It is currently in the creating state. 
and what is the operating system so we are going to create then windows operating and this is the size like everything it is of default thing and you can go into this virtual machine and you will be able to see all the details here so whatever we discussed for the previous video the same things everything you will be able to say what is a virtual network public ip address all those things it is in the status running so what is a public ip address what is the size so virtual cp is 2 ram is 8 gb you can go through this and um, yeah virtual mission is created now the virtual mission is created and you can say it is it is in the running state if you wanted to connect to this virtual mission you can just connect do the rdp and go with that um, download rdp file and you can uh, ex you can connect to your virtual desktop the same way which i showed you in the previous file right previous video you can do the same thing it is very similar to things and uh, you, in order to get the public ip address what is the public ip address of that particular virtual machine you can get the get az public ip address paste it here and you will get the public ip address all the details here here you can see ip address 2172223113 is the same thing you will be able where is that so public ip address you will get 20 124 129 28 so that is not this. yeah here you can see what is the uh, desktop name azure windows dbc resource what is the location and uh, id a tag resource id provisioning st provisioning status it is succeeded and here you can public ip allocation method it is static and this is the one and you will get you can get all the other details as well so uh, name resource group name all the details of that particular virtual mission whatever we are seeing here right the same thing you will be able to see it here also public ip address what is the subscription id so all those things you will be able to see it public ip address private ip address next thing is we are going to see how to delete this virtual machine to delete it you can use remove agvm and give the resource group name and azure virtual machine copy this command and you can paste it here remove agvm what is the resource group name what is the name so you can just remove and you can create yes you can click yes also click yes then it will take some same one or two minutes to delete that instance and once this is done you will be able to you will be in, uh, you will be able to see you will be not able to see the virtual mission azvm01 anymore so here you can say it is still in the running set we'll just refresh the page still in the running set that is okay this command is still in the execution state itself so that's it for this video i hope you i you learned how to create uh, azure virtual machine windows server or windows instance from powershell as well as console so I'll give you the link of that particular video, how to create virtual machines in the description box as well. Please take a look at it. And if you have any questions or any doubts, please post in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible. And here you can see it is deleted. It has been deleted and you can cross check the same. So you can just refresh here. Azure VM01, it is in running state. Yeah, now it got removed. It got removed from the page. So please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning. Thank you.